Uh, hello everyone, I'm that guy with the tripod and welcome to another Transformers video review. Today we have Transformers Combiner Wars uh, uh, drag strip. Now taking first glance at this box, what is the one thing you find uh, wrong about this? I'll give you a second to figure it out. Okay, if you haven't already told, if you haven't told, hang on. If you haven't, uh, t if you couldn't tell already, is that this symbol, that's the auto bot symbol on a Decepticon action figure or toy, whichever you prefer. Now, that's a very big mistake. And if it was just on uh, this one uh, box, I would allow that. But, taking a look at the trading card, you can see it's, it's the same mistake. It has the Autobot symbol on the Decepticon trading card. Yeah. Look, and it, and it gets even more insulting to see half half of the to see half of a Decepticon symbol right here at the edge, right next to his name, and even have Decepticon uh, written above his name. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I think that. I think that pretty much proves my my uh, fact. I think that proves my theory that that this that there must have been some mix-up during the packaging or whatever or what or whatever else happened. Uh, you guys comment down below to see to to, to, to give me your thoughts on what I on explaining this on explaining this uh, thing. Anyway. Moving right along to the actual uh, toy itself. Now, I really love this uh, figure. It, it's just so smooth and sleek. It, it actually looks like it can go. It can go up. Uh, go as just about as fast as the as those real racing racing cards it's based off of. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what these kinds of racing cards are called. But they do look cool, I will admit that. Yeah. The color scheme is also very good. And I, and I don't really have uh, any downsides of this vehicle mode. Although I think the spoiler could have been a, a little bit bigger and, and a bit wider. Uh, wider, but, but that's just me. Okay. And it, it rolls very nicely, uh, at least on this uh, tablecloth. Anyway. Now, now for the actual transformation, and and it is a uh, fairly simple, simple to do to, to, to the figure of skydive, and I'll show you that in a minute. Well, first you take this and you separate that, then you bring the head down, then you twist this piece, then you. Plug it right here. You can see that there's a hole right here uh, beneath the spoiler spoiler thingy, and you plug that right in. Next, you separate the arms and move them up here. Next, you you pull this downward, then you extend it. Then you twist the at the waist. Then you separate the legs. Next, you flip the fists out. Then you bend the elbows. And finally, you twist the head. A same, a same basic overall design, but with a few uh, twists. But but with a few uh, changes here to, to make it uh, to make it more entertaining. Yeah. Now, now the robot mode. Uh, it's good until it gets to the chest. As you can see, it has the same problem with a skydive. You see, he has these uh, screws right here, uh, which which really take away it, 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 its ability to look at. Although I really do wish that they could have added the 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 color from here and put it onto the front. That would have been much better. Yeah, the articulation is uh, is pretty much. It's good. Uh, well, pretty much the same uh, as the skydive. You can bend at the knee, tw 
twist at the thigh and move out here at, on a ball joint. The head uh, spins as part of its transformation and you have basic arm movements. Uh, this is really stiff up ball joint here, an elbow joint, and, and because of the transformation, a uh, flexible wrist. Yeah. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, the the feet kind of disconnect from there and move up. I honestly don't know what that's for. The instructions didn't say didn't mention anything about it. About it. Yeah. My best guess is that the arm. Eh, what, what, my best guess is that it, it makes the arm, arm mode uh, look a bit more, um, I don't know, uh, better. Here, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, and I can also twist uh, right here. And uh, one thing that, that bothers me about it, about this, the head and the connection bit for for the combiner th form, uh, you have to pull it out, out. Uh, so it doesn't uh, loop around like it did on a skydive. Next, you change that. Now, 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 uh, now, while we're uh, now before we go, uh, let's look at the arm. Uh, it's exactly like uh, skydives, except except these two bits are flat, and well, well, it's purple, and this inner part is red. Well, while skydives is completely black. Anyway, the the same uh, transformation applies, although it doesn't have although a uh, drag strips' hand doesn't have the same uh, peg or small small bit uh, in, small bit in the mechanism. Uh, to to pull out uh, like this, so uh, you can see just barely that there. It it has a small piece of plastic is pointing upward, so you can uh, pull it out a bit better. But then on this piece, it doesn't have that. So you have to put it in. You have to uh, instead you have to uh, put your fingernail into one of these uh, slots and pull up and hope it. Uh, I hope it comes out. And that's, a, and that's another thing about this. It's really stiff. Yeah, and that's uh, Skydive in his uh, R mode. A very nice R mode, and I really like the purple hand that goes uh, perfectly well with the color scheme of this. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for the R mode. Now moving on to a uh, skydive's leg mode. Uh, again, uh, very simple. And again, I'm not entirely sure if this uh, piece of plastic has to, this part has to move, stay up, or move down in in, in any other form. And that's the uh, leg mode. Overall, very interesting uh, figure. A few minor complaints, but all, but it's not that bad. And it certainly does have a good uh, vehicle form. Oops, and I just... Oh, no, well, that explains it. Oh, and I, I completely forgot about his weapon. Uh, it's a cross between a rail gun and a knife, I think. He uh, holds it, he either holds it up by here in order for a knife, and right here as in a blaster. The only problem is that it, it both of these pegs are not round or not really round or round enough to, to, to fit in the to fit in his holes. 
See, you really have to force it in there. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for this uh, video review. I'm that guy. I'm that guy with the tripod. Peace.